Okay, so now that we have our binary search tree uh, defined, we're going to go ahead and make some functions that we can perform on it just to make life easier when we're actually using it. So the first thing we're going to do is include our uh, binary tree that we defined in our header file. And then we'll go ahead and use our name, our standard uh, namespace. Okay. Once this is done, uh, we'll make an area for declaring our prototypes. And we'll go ahead and make a main function for now. We're not going to do anything with it. But what it'll do is um, go ahead and uh, you know, do whatever test we choose to run on it or whatnot. Um, okay. So for now, we're not going to have this do anything. So we'll do return exit success. Okay. So, and down here, we'll actually define what our functions do. So our first function is going to be pretty simple. We're just going to count the size of a tree, meaning how many nodes does this tree have in it? How many filled nodes does it have in it? And so that one's as simple as just saying, hey, um, what we're going to have is a template, obviously, just as before, class item, you guessed it, class key. And um, in this, what we're going to do is say, we're going to return a size t, because what a size t is, if you're not familiar with that, this is part of the standard library, is it's uh, pretty much a small, it's an unsigned integer, basically. Uh, it's the best way to describe it because we can't have a negative size. No, small as it can be is zero. So we're going to say name it tree size and we're going to just pass in. We're not going to change the tree at all, so we're just going to pass in our uh, const vs tree. Um, and that, of course, is item key. Type item key. Root. Call it the root. So we'll call it in all of this. Okay. So there's our prototype. So we're going to go ahead and copy that and implement it down here. So implementation-wise, this is going to be recursive, but it's also going to be pretty, pretty easy. Uh, if you're not familiar with recursion, now would be a great time to go and figure out what it is. Uh, this is a pretty basic recursion. We will get into some heavy have your recursion later that will probably uh, twist, bend your mind. I know it bent mine, uh, figuring it out. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this one. This one's pretty simple. Obviously, if our root is null, right? If root is equal to null, then we're going to return zero because there's nothing left, right? Otherwise, what we're going to do is return the tree size of each of each uh, of each of our nodes. So return tree size of our left of our left right root. Here's the tricky part: arrow. Get left. If you're not familiar with what an arrow does, it's basically the same as dereferencing root. Uh, it'd be the same as me writing this. Uh, root dot get left but uh, arrow just makes it a lot easier um, plus tree size of root get right plus one because the current one that we're in isn't null so we gotta count that and then so what this will go is keep looping through adding one for each one that isn't null and once it gets to null it'll return zero uh, pretty simple. Uh, that's really all that one is, actually. Very, very easy start. Um, our second one, go ahead and do this. You trust me, you're going to get sick of typing these templates. Yeah. Um, our second one that we're going to do is, uh, is just clearing out a tree. So what this is going to do is actually change it. We're going to uh, just delete all the contents. So what we're going to do is say uh, void tree clear. 
and we're going to pass in since we're actually going to change this tree we're going to pass it in as uh, a pointer that we're going to change so item obviously oops key pointer but we're going to make that pointer a reference root okay easy enough go ahead and copy paste okay so how are we going to do this pretty simple um what we're going to do is say hey if root is null, there's nothing to clear, right? Right. So we'll just return. We're done. If root is null, that's our base case. Notice our first thing is always our base case. So if it's null, return. Otherwise, what we're going to do is tree clear on its children. So we're going to say, hey, tree clear root get left and tree clear root get right just like that that easy for that and then what we're going to do is delete once we have cleared that we're going to delete our root right and then set it equal to null there we go easy enough and uh, that's as simple as that. So basically, it's going to navigate down this thing until it finally gets to the end. And once it hits the end, we'll say, oh, return. It'll pop back out of here, delete this one, pop back out, delete the next one. So basically, we're going to the very bottom of the tree and deleting it from the bottom up. That's what that's going to do. And then we'll do, we'll do, let's do one more for this particular video. And that is going to be... Our depth. Why don't we do the depth of our tree, right? This one's also uh, pretty easy. Uh, what this is going to do is, again, have a template. Uh, we're going to call it class item class key. And we're going to, this one's going to return the depth, so size t, right? So this will basically how deep is our binary search tree? Uh, it's different from the size. The size is how many nodes are in it. This is how deep is it? So we're gonna call this tree depth. Okay. And what we're gonna pass into it is just simply a constant b s tree, and that's going to be item key. pointer root. Okay. Copy paste. One, two, three. This is going to be very similar to our tree size. We're going to say, hey, if root is null, or we have this built-in function for root, root is leaf. then return zero. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and travel down it. So we're going to say, it's gonna, this is where it's going to get tricky for recursion. If tree depth of root get left, because so we want to find the deepest part of this thing, if that is greater than tree depth of root get right, then what are we going to do? Well, we're going to return tree depth of root get left. I want you to take a minute and think, what am I going to add to this? I'll leave that for you to think about. Else, return tree depth of root get right. 
what you're going to add to both of these is plus one because we're going to count our current node. And that's that. That's how easy that one is. Uh, think about it. It is a little bit of a brain buster, especially this part. But think about that for a minute, and I think it'll all start to make sense to you.